This is aged ribeye. This is the eye of the ribeye, also known as Spencer steak. We're cutting it into small cubes, one centimeter cubes, and you can see we've defatted it already. You don't need any of that fat for the process here. It's just going to get in the way and take up space in the centrifuge in your seaweed bath. We're going to pull a real strong vacuum on the beef cubes. You can go ahead and put them in there and pack them in all you want right here, pull a vacuum and then sort it out later into preferably a thin thin shaped thing filling out the bag. You want as much surface area as you can. You don't want a big round ball of meat in there. You're going to set your bath to 53 Celsius for a rare beef jus. You can go a little higher if you want. Wouldn't recommend going colder. Go ahead and put it in for three hours. You can check on it and give it a stir and a twist and a rub and a shake in between to help uh, break up some of the beef. This is the finished one. You can see it's shrank just a small amount. All the jus is at the surface. Looks a little brown, but that's going to bloom later on and turn nice and bright. This is where you're going to be blooming it here. Letting the myoglobin react with oxygen. It's going to turn bright red. Usually it takes a few minutes. Grocery stores cheat and use carbon monoxide and they fill up the little uh, little trays that you buy steak in. It's called modified atmospheric packaging they do. That keeps it nice and bright red, but that's when you cut into it and it's brown in the middle even though it looks bright red on the outside. We're going to use a centrifuge bottle for this. We use a centrifuge because it gives us the best yield and we have total control of the temperature. You can use a grape press, you can use a really strong kitchen cloth or whatever to strain it, twist it real hard. You're going to have to separate the fat later on in the refrigerator if you do either of those techniques. When we spin it in the centrifuge it takes us about an hour. You can see 10,000 RPM, gets a real strong spin, comes out looking like this. Fat on the top, jus in the middle, solids on the bottom. Lightest to densest. And this is just to strain out any chunks that might come out of the centrifuge bottle here. And also keep in mind, it looks like a real, real small amount, but all the flavor you can imagine came out of that beef. It's pretty bland stuff at this point, and this is all your flavor, and you're going to dilute it later on. We almost never serve it straight because it's just really, really strong. And this you can keep for later, dilute it to 2 to 1, 3 to 1, something like that, with pure, pure water. You don't want faucet water or anything that has uh, chemicals or chlorine or anything like that because it's going to turn brown on you.